Jay Parker was born into a multi-generational satanic Illuminati family and received monarch trauma-based mind control methodology as a child. For the first seven years of his life, Jay was subject to satanic ritual abuse in a large cult setting. In his talk today, Jay will tell of his childhood ritual abuse without naming individuals. His focus will be on showing the clinician showing clinicians the whys behind satanic ritual abuse. Jay will also be speaking on recovery and healing methods for SRA survivors. He will discuss in detail new neurological and biological discoveries related to ritual abuse, and Jay will reveal a specialized holistic approach for SRA healing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jay Parker. Thank you all for coming out. I want to thank the organizers of Free Your Mind and WhatOnEarthIsHappening.com, Mark Passio, for arranging this fine conference and uh, getting the truth out to people so that they can be empowered in uh, what's coming down the pike in our society, globally and both uh, in America also. Uh, so I'm going to just jump right into it. I have a lot of material to go over. And uh, I'm not going to delve too deeply into ritual abuse, but I'm going to give you some pointers of where you can go to get the information in detail. Uh, SRA is a dark occult system of mind control. And uh, basically, the archaeologists today and uh, psychologists like Eric Fromm have discovered that it goes back about 6,000 BC in the modern antediluvian time, uh, post-diluvian time. But it's probably pre-diluvian, uh, 10,000 uh, plus BC in uh, origin. Uh, basically, um, in 9600 BC, the Earth went through a major physical cataclysm. Fifty-two species of uh, genera, species of animals, were lost in North America alone. Since that cataclysm, literally the consciousness of the human race has been in a state of shock. We are fast approaching a time where the human race is going to come out of that state of shock and back into true, full consciousness. And in order for that to happen, uh, certain manipulation uh, systems that are in play in our world today must be brought down with the truth about who we are as a species and what we are as a community. Uh, basically, the SRA occult, dark occult system is the opposite of natural truth. It's the opposite of natural law. It's uh, basically the antithesis of nature. It's the big lie. It's a closed system of scarcity controlled by a few when nature and reality is actually based on an open system where all share equally. The religious system is of SRA and the dark occult is founded in mysticism. Mysticism is, is the religious practice where powers outside yourself control your destiny, control your life. You yourself are powerless. You are just a cog in the machine. And uh, basically mysticism is a, a total falsehood. Uh, and uh, we in ourselves, with what we're born with naturally, have all the spiritual, mental, and emotional faculties to live an empowered, creative, positive life. But we are mind controlled through indoctrination systems of religion and education and cultural, uh, I don't know how to put it, uh, I would guess, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of herd mentality, I'll just say that. Uh, I'm just, I'm trying to get going here. Be uh, patient with me. 
The uh, Illuminati have a caste system. The caste system is based on bloodline. Uh, it's, based, it, it's a strict hierarchy based on bloodline. So if you're born a Rockefeller, let's say, you're, you're already made. You're going to be one of the big powers, and basically you're going to be telling everybody else what to do. In the cult system, if the cult finds that you have particular mental or occult talents, you can move up the totem pole. But basically, in our world system today, the Illuminati bloodlines that, come, that originate in ancient Babylon control the entire system. And there's really no sharing of that bloodline it's all amongst themselves. They breed amongst themselves to hold a particular vibrational state, and there is no uh, moving up the ladder for Joe Schmo on the uh, street. You can get a better life, and instead of just being a, a guard in the jail, you might actually be a supervisor in the jail. But basically, that's all it is. Uh, SRA is a system of physical trauma and emotional abuse with the end goal of creating a mind control slave that will obey and serve the dark occultists throughout their life. Uh, you're, you're basically, the end result is your life is stolen from you. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm going to get into this a little bit. Uh, what happens when you're born, you're in alignment and harmony with the natural energy systems of this planet. Your synaptic pathways for the first six years of your life are being developed. You're in a total download mode. You cannot critically differentiate any information that's coming into you. You just keep taking it in and building up the base computer in your subconscious. And your subconscious runs 99% of your adult life. So if the first six years of your life you've been programmed with negativity, with lies, with mysticism, rather than the truth, you're going to be a wreck. And basically what it comes down to is some of the healing methodologies that I'm going to talk about basically will, will give people who have been through this a way out. All right. When the neural pathways are warped, by, let's say they take a cattle prod to you. In the shock of that physical attack, your body's going to release certain chemicals. Your mind and emotions are going to be in a state of total terror and fear. Those chemicals that your body releases eventually become the habitual chemicals that your body lives off of every day. Just like Pavlov's dog that salivated when it heard a bell ring, thinking it was going to be fed, the monarch mind control system is just Pavlov's dog on steroids. It takes years to mind control someone, and it's extremely systematic. It's been going on for thousands of years, and these people who do this the 10% of the world population who are old religion, who are ancient occult generational Satanists, uh, everyone goes through this system. Whether you're a simple uh, mechanic who was born into a Satanic family, or whether you're a banker and your name is Rockefeller, all go through the system to warp their synaptic pathways so that the energy they broadcast out of their heart and mind and the energy they receive 
is the antithesis of nature. And it's totally negative, and that's why we're in the uh, situation we are in this world. When the uh, synaptic pathways are rerouted, it forms habitual chemical patterning. And so basically, years after you've been programmed as a monarch slave, you will suffer depression at certain times of the uh, moon cycle. There will be certain rituals that will be done over and over again in the first six, seven years of your life during certain moon cycles. So that when the moon is in that cycle and you're 15, 20, 30, 40 years old, you'll be triggered by the gravitational field to experience in your subconscious that trauma again. It's a very sophisticated system that uses everything that's in, the, in nature, whether it's gravitational fields or, or symbology, to continually trigger the programming so you stay in a state of obedience and basic uh, thoughtlessness. Uh, the human, the human um, being basically uh, broadcasts from, from their heart and mind a frequency and energy that goes out into the field and we're all connected to this universal field. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some source material so I can build up and then I'm going to, uh, you know, just, just follow my notes here. All right, let's see. Okay, all right. I'm going to go to the next slide. All right, Kathy O'Brien is a woman who grew up in a generational satanic family in Michigan. Kathy O'Brien's story is her father was found out by the police to be a child pornographer. And so what the police did was they went to him and they said, if you will give us your daughter to train as a monarch slave, we will let you continue your pornographic activities and plus we'll actually help you in your business. So for her entire life, up until the time she was 30, she served the Illuminati as a monarch mind controlled sex slave. The circle of people that Kathy O'Brien associated with were the Clintons, the Bushes, Senator Byrd from West Virginia, various country music stars, and other international dignitaries like the uh, president of Mexico, uh, Mr. Madrid. She wrote a book called Transformation of America with the help of her husband, Mark Phillips, an ex-CIA agent who deprogrammed her. She has never been sued by anyone in the Illuminati or in the corrupt system we live under for what she has written about them in this book. She has written about Dick Cheney raping her repeatedly sadistically. She has written about her daughter being raped by George W. Bush repeatedly and mind controlled by him. She has written about the MENA cocaine scandal where a hundred million dollars worth of cocaine was funneled through MENA Arkansas while Bill Clinton was governor. The book is shocking. The book is a horror story. The book is true. Many of the people that she talks about in Transformation of America, my parents knew were cult. 
So when Robert Byrd, who was her f personal handler in the monarch system, is mentioned in this book, I can remember my mother basically when someone in the cult that my parents knew that they were involved and they came on TV or there was some news article about them, my parents would get a spiritual kind of manifestation or energy would come off them. So I know that Robert Byrd was part of the cult because of when he was mentioned around my mother, I could see her have this knowing energy come from her like, yeah, he's one of us. And it's the same with Gerald Ford. It's the same with uh, ah, just many of them. But it, it, in the book, and I recommend this book to everyone because it will destroy your illusions that the mainstream media has given you about your leaders. It's Republicans and Democrats in this mind control system. It's, it's not just a few people. It's a complete system of control and it's, you know, I'll get into it why, but she has another book out and uh, basically uh, she has a website and you can email her, but I highly recommend this book if you want to know about satanic ritual abuse. Now her particular system that she went under was a little bit different than what I went through because she was handpicked to be what's known as a presidential model sex slave to be used for black bag CIA operations and the highest levels of government uh, black bag stuff. So instead of being in group rape rooms and trauma situations, she, she was, although she was in those situations, she was uh, basically handled with special care because they had uh, the highest uh, uh, mind control uh, future for her. Okay, so that's Kathy O'Brien and that's something. And you could probably find the book on the web if you don't want to buy it. And I'm sure there's used uh, Transformations of America available on Amazon for just a few dollars. And uh, all I have to say is, I certify her story as true. I know that the people, the majority of the people mentioned in this book as dark occultist abusers, okay, I have seen my parents react to these names and I know that they are cult. So the people that say that she's not telling the truth, well, I say to them, well, how come she hasn't been sued for libel? All right, next slide. Fritz Springmeier is an author from Oregon and a Christian minister. He, along with uh, a woman he deprogrammed, wrote this book how to create an undetectable mind control slave. Of all the books that go into the psychological patterning which is required to break up your consciousness into multiple personalities to manipulate you, this book is probably one of the best. And any clinician that is working on SRA people needs to read this book. You're not going to understand what you're dealing with without seeing firsthand how a monarch slave is created. And, and it's, it's great to, to read about the actual rituals, but you have to understand in all of this, these rituals 
are done to create a certain emotional state in the victim which causes scarring and causes the warping of the synaptic pathways. It's, it's basically, when you're born, you have infinite consciousness, but you have a body computer in your mind, in your brain. It's not your consciousness, it's part of the space suit that you wear when you're in this holodeck. And basically, that computer is just like the computer on your desk. It can be programmed, it can be manipulated. And it's a, it's a, it's a sad but true thing. And I'll, I'll get into it more. Uh, so Fritz Springmeier is now in jail. He was framed for bank robbery in Oregon like five years ago. A Christian minister, and let me tell you, there's videos of this man speaking about the Illuminati and also speaking about the love of God and what we need to do as a species to get out of this darkness. This man would not hurt a fly. This man would not even hurt an abuser because he walks in love and he trusts in his God. And they framed him for bank robbery. Essentially, if you read the story of what happened to Fritz Springmeier, was a bunch of bank robbers got caught and so the Illuminati that controlled the courts and the state of Oregon said, why don't you point the finger at this guy and we'll let you go? And that's exactly what happened. So Springmeier gets out in 2012 and uh, he has also written another book called Bloodlines of the Illuminati. For anyone interested in the history of the controlling oligarchs in this world, this is a book you need to read. It goes into the DuPonts, the Rothschilds, the Remingtons, the Rockefellers. They're all there. And, and their history, their family history, it's fascinating, fascinating history. And it's also very scary. But Bloodlines of the Illuminati, just an excellent, excellent work. And you can find it on the web. His books are available on the web for free because when you really are in tune to what's going on in this world, it's not about selling books. It's not about making money. It's about trying to save your species. Now, let's go to the next one. Nothing but fun, but, but it's going to get better, trust me. All right, this is uh, the Franklin Cup. The reason I'm laying out some of these major scandals and base SRA books is you, you need to get a basis of what's really going on. You need to get a, a look into the darkness, okay, to see how far as a civilization we've come. And it's not good, but I will tell you this, and, and I'm sure of this, the Illuminati is about to get an answer from the universe about what it's doing to this planet. And this is not, this darkness is not going to continue in no way. But in order for the darkness to be put down, the human race has to grow up and take responsibility. And that's coming because people realize the way things are going on this planet, we don't have a future as a species if we continue to behave this way. And I'm going to give you some pointers later in this lecture as to why you need to get your head into a space where you can be energetic, empowering, and a light being to help us overcome this darkness. Now, John DeCamp is a man from, I believe, Oklahoma, 
And he talks about a particular scandal that happened in the 80s. It is called the Franklin cover-up. Boys were taken from Boys Town in Nebraska, flown to the White House and other places in Washington, D.C., and used for pedophile sex. The Franklin cover-up goes into the who was doing what, it goes into the response of the powers that be, our government and our prosecutors, in covering up this scandal. This scandal has a movie made about it. And you can find that movie online for free. It Basically, the victims who came forward from Boys Town and tried to stop this ring of pedophiles ended up going to jail for perjury. And when you read this book, uh, you're, just, you're just going to be shocked, totally shocked. All right. Uh, Ted Gunderson is a former head of the FBI in Los Angeles. Uh, by fate and circumstance, he got pulled into investigating satanic ritual abuse. Basically, he was involved with the McMartin preschool scandal in California. Special Agent Gunderson is a friend of John DeCamp and they worked together on the Franklin cover-up. Ted Gunderson has a website and a lot of things on the web, but his report on the McMartin case and the cover-up by the prosecutors is staggering. It's just staggering. It's something you need to see. All right, next. Uh, the FBI refuses to this day to investigate any allegations of satanic cult abuse. No matter who you are, no matter how much evidence you have, they refuse, hands down, to do any investigation. And as far as I know, that continues to today. Now, according to Ted Gunderson, 50,000 children a year go missing in America. That's a lot of human sacrifice. Now you can say to yourself, well, not all 50,000 end up sacrificed by the cult. But the point I want to make is, of all the statistics in crime that the FBI keep, there's one statistic that they've refused to keep, and that's the number of missing children in America. Oh, they'll tell you how many cars got stolen. They'll tell you how many burglaries happened, but they're not gonna tell you how many children got abducted. So think about that. The FBI is nothing but the Federal Bureau of the Illuminati. They are Selective enforcement, they are not for justice. They are basically used to go after anybody the higher-ups in the power pyramid of the Illuminati deem a threat to their power base. Yes, there are good people in the FBI. There are good people in the government. There are good people in many religions. But at the very top, we have a systematic international corruption that is killing every good thing in this planet. And we need to deal with it. Next. So uh, there is a website and a Yahoo group called Smart News. And it was started by a man many years ago. And it's a coordination site for satanic ritual abuse survivors and therapists. And so, if you want to get 
a heads up on what's going on in a world that no one in the mainstream media dare talk about, this is a pretty good place to start. This group, Smart News, has a conference yearly in New Haven, Connecticut. And uh, they're doing some excellent work. And I applaud them, and I just want to give them kudos and thank them. Next. Well, there's Molech. And if you know anything about Bohemian Grove, basically the ancient deity, Canaanite deity, Phoenician deity, Molech, it's all about putting your children into the idol and roasting them. I mean, how else are you going to have a good harvest? You know, you got to break a few eggs to make an omelet, right? So I'm going to talk about my family a little bit. My father was ninth generation Illuminati. His family came from Northern Ireland. They joined the Illuminati in approximately 1720s. That's why when people say that the Illuminati was founded in uh, May 1st in Bavaria in 1776. That was a reorganization of the Illuminati to announce their new worldwide revolutionary phase. The American Revolution, the French Revolution, they were going international and, and global in scope. So the 1776 Bavarian Illuminati date it's not their founding, it's just basically uh, their coming out party that they were, they were going to move into the uh, realm of really actively subverting and, and taking control of the nation states of the world. So my father basically uh, was possessed transdimensionally as far as I can tell. Uh, the uh, powers of be asked him to become a Freemason, and he said no. That's how much a cold power he had. He actually, they told him what they'd like him to do, and he looked at him and said, who do you think you're talking to? In the world, he really wasn't a big man. He was just a teacher. But in the cult, because of his family and because of his cold power and knowledge, he had some chops, for sure. My mother was a uh, witch who basically uh, claimed that she had a 5,000 year direct generational daughter, uh, mother to daughter witchcraft heritage that went all the way back to the ancient Canaanite civilization of the Amalekite. And these are the same Amalekite that fought against Saul in the Old Testament. And one of the stories I was told as a child was the story of how the Israelis stole the Amalekites' herds and slaughtered the Amalekites. But if you study the Old Testament, you'll find that hundreds of years later, after Saul supposedly slew every Amalekite under the orders of Jehovah, that they're fighting the Amalekite once again in Moab. And the reason for this, according to my mother's uh, you know, history, cult history, was that as the Israelis were disobeying God and taking the herds for use in sacrifice. They were distracted from a caravan of Amalekite that were coming out of Egypt into the valley where the slaughter took place. And those Amalekites slipped away and formed the basis of a dark occult secret society and bloodline that to this day continues. So, uh, not very uh, positive there. Let's see. My grandfather, 
My grandfather on my father's side was a small businessman in a small town in New Jersey. But it's an interesting thing. When he died, 300 people from five surrounding states that my family and the local community had never seen before showed up at his funeral. Now, I'm 54 years old, so I've been to a few funerals. And all I got to say is if half the town you live in shows up because, like my grandfather, you were the insurance salesman in the town and everybody knew you, and then 300 people from as far away as Ohio show up to your funeral, what is being put to rest there is a regional Illuminati chieftain. He really wasn't a big man on the surface, but in the occult manipulation of society, he was a big man. So I'm going to talk about now uh, my other grandparents. Uh, Warlock, witch, and uh, I'll just tell this one little story. So we're visiting my mother's parents in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, and I'm about five years old. So my <coughs> grandparents give me a little bronze Statue of Liberty. And I say, wow, the Statue of Liberty, cool. And they go, no, it isn't. It's Semiramis, the Queen of Babylon. And I, and I had a, I can still remember this, having an argument with them for like 10 minutes, it's the Statue of Liberty. And they're going, no, it isn't stupid. It's Semiramis, the Queen of Babylon. And, uh, you know, I, I, I could tell hundreds of stories about, you know, my family, but I want to get into where we're going, not where the human race has been. So, one of, one of the things that uh, I want to say about my family is, even though they were all satanic mind-controlled slaves, to the power system. There were times when their true consciousness would come through, their true humanity. Even though you're a mass murdering pedophile, at times your consciousness is going to come through. You cannot destroy consciousness. You can completely program somebody to be a total maniac. But you cannot destroy consciousness. And I just want you to know that. And uh, I saw my parents chafe under their programming. Although they would murder somebody with glee because they were in control and they were in power, they also at times wished that they weren't who they were wish that they hadn't been born into what they were born into, wish that they had been strong enough to say no to the cult, but they weren't. So I'm going to go now into what I'm really interested in, and which is healing, not only for ritual abuse survivors, but for our entire species, where we need to go to get out of the mess that we're in. Gary Craig was a friend of Roger Callahan, an energy therapist in California. Gary Craig was a Stanford University trained engineer and businessman. He's not a psychologist. But one of Gary Craig's biggest passions in life was to be the happiest he could be to be the best he could be, not on a shallow level, but on, on the level of someone that really and truly wants to be enlightened. So uh, Gary Craig has written several books on emotional freedom, fr uh, freedom technique. And what it is, is tapping 
to break apart subcom subconscious programming. And, uh, oh boy, I don't have much time. So I'm going to run through this stuff pretty quickly. But emotional freedom technique in, in my recovery from satanic ritual abuse has freed me from the roller coaster of programming. I'm no longer a slave to the emotional programming of the moon matrix programming that I was for 50 years of my life. And I say this in all sincerity, it, and this is not just for SRA victims, this is for everyone. This, without a doubt, is the best psychological and spiritual healing modality that is out there today. It is based on ancient acupuncture. It is based on energetic reality of the human body. All right, continue. All right, there's things, you, if you want to get into what life is really about and where we really are, one of the movies I recommend is What the Belief Do We Know? It's full of physicists and other scientists and consciousness people, and it's a fun film, and you're going to learn a lot of positive information that's going to expand your awareness and make your life fuller. One of the interesting things in what the belief do we know is a Japanese scientist by the name of Dr. Yamato took jars of water and he wrote on the water different words like I hate you, I'm going to kill you, different phraseology. Wrote love, peace, had the water blessed and then froze the water and then took pictures of the crystals. What Emoto found is staggering. Now there's a lot of skeptics that don't believe this, but if you go through the, the information I'm giving you and follow some of the points I'm giving you, you will see that Emoto is telling the truth. All right, we gotta keep going here. All right. In addition to EFT as being a core healing modality, one of the things that you need if you want to heal is truth. All I can say is some people hope, some people believe, others know. The reason that the cult, the 10% of the world population that is controlling everything is in control is because they know. They know how to manipulate the energy they know. They don't believe. They don't have a mysticism where something outside themselves is controlling the situation. They're in control of their lives. And this is what I'm trying to get at in my life, is to get free of the satanic mysticism. But biology of belief and Bruce Lipton's work called Wisdom of Yourselves is one of the greatest theses of modern electrobiology, of, of actually how we work on a molecular basis. It's staggering what this man has spent his entire life as a first class molecular biologist. And just go on the web and start looking at his YouTube videos, but this man, you have to know his information. It's paramount. All right. Uh, Kevin Trudeau. Kevin Trudeau was a member of a secret society called the Brotherhood. Now, some people don't think Kevin Trudeau's for real. I'm here to tell you that he is. I'm not saying that everything he says is correct. But his series, which was developed in concert with secret society members, this series called Your Wish is Your Command is the actual correct ancient occult teaching of the mind, heart, energetic system that we truly are in. Kevin Trudeau's your wish is your command costs like $300.
All I can say to you is, you know, a couple of friends of mine, you know, in, in our group, we get together and we share the cost of getting information when we have to. I cannot stress enough, you need to hear this. This guy and the free, the, the light Freemasons and the light Illuminati who are working with him to free humanity because at the very top, there are billionaires that do not want the human race to go into complete slavery. They just don't need it. They don't need to be so sadistic that they dumb down the human population and make it crawl for its meals on its hands and knees. They don't need to go there. And so these occult trained billionaires and roy there's some royalists with him too are fighting the parasitical Illuminati and bringing out information that is, you know, required if you want to be an energy light worker and you want to take the power back in your life. So he's got a website, he's got books on natural cures, he's a fantastic man. So don't you dare. Uh, I just want to say, uh, Lynn McTaggart, get to the next one. I'm going to speed up and just go quickly through this. Well, there's Rupert Sheldrake, is a friend of Bruce Lipton's, and he has uh, great, great information. So we're just going to, I'm just going to buzz right through this. All right, Lynn McTaggart went all over the world and interviewed quantum physicists and uh, scientists and came up with this book called The Field and it explains the holographic universe and the energy matrix that we're in. Fantastic book, mind-blowing. Next. All right, Terence McKenna, he's on YouTube. This is probably his best book. And, but it, his work is just out, out there. He, he's a genius that looked at our society and said, no way. All right, next. Nassim Haramein. Nassim Haramein has figured out what the re true molecular cosmology of our universe is. It's a 64-grid tetrahedron. He's a, an award-winning physicist. In Harriman's scaling model of the universe that we live in, from infinitely large to infinitely small, what is right in the middle? It is the human being. And the reason we are, and this is physicist mathematics out the window, proving that we are right at the fulcrum point of this reality, which means we are the ones who are in control of this. And we've been taught that we're not. And it's a lie. It's the big lie. And you need to get over it. Next. Sorry, I'm, you know who I'm yelling at. OK. All right, Peter Shampo. Great website on the ley lines in the energy field of our Earth grid. I could go on about the cult uh, ritual places that are on the ley lines so that it can poison the met morphogenic field and keep us in fear. All right, Ethelic Warriors. One of the things you can do for yourself right now is go to ethelicwarriors.com and learn how to make organite. This is uh, based on the uh, energy technology of Dr. Wilhelm Reich. Organite will transmute the negative energy of cell phones and of cell towers, okay? There's a whole thing going on with the energetic field that is affecting our biology, and you need to learn about EMF pollution because people are getting cancer. A friend of mine's niece, 14 years old, she had a cell phone. Well, she's got a brain tumor now. 
And all I have to say is, you study EMF, and you'll find that the corporations knew this stuff was dangerous, and they said, we don't care. Ugh. Okay, thunderbolts of the gods. You're going to find out that we don't have a atomic sun, we have an electric sun. You're going to find out that the cosmology of Einstein is a lie. Doesn't mean some of the stuff that Einstein said wasn't true, but his cosmology, yeah, there's real problems. And there's a whole new biology and physics coming out because even though the powers that be are suppressing this information, the universe is saying, no, you won't. Okay, uh, everything you know is, is wrong. This is about human genetics and who we are as a species. I oh, know, keep going. Joseph Farrell, an author you need to find out about, has written on the banking system uh, from the days of Babylon. Uh, Twelve books. This man is Oxford educated. He's a genius. You have to look into him. All right, next. Michael Tazarian. You can find him on the web. 2012, on the web. A presentation, Michael Tazarian, 2012. It's a three-hour lecture. Start there. Jordan Maxwell, 45 years studying the occult religion and the finance and legal system of the world. This man knows what's going on. Red Ice Creations. One of the things I'm doing in my life is I've turned the TV off because I know what the TV is. <laughs> and Red Ice Creations has the greatest free thinkers in the world on their radio and they're doing productions to free humanity. They have a, web, a website where you can listen to the first hour of their two-hour interviews for free, and this will expand your awareness and send you in directions that will empower you. Next. David Icke. Well, David Icke, if you want to get a basic overview of reality, human race, get off your knees, 700 pages, it's all there. All right, and the system we are under, the international control grid, is basically Vatican City spiritual corruption, Washington, D.C., military oppression, and City of London financial corruption and oppression. And as the universe likes to say, Mo, Larry, and Curly. Now, what I want to say to you, very simply, and, you know, this, my talk will be out on the web, and Mark and I are working on some new websites where we're going to have, it, we'll make it easy for you to get the information that you need. But the sun is no longer a yellow sun. It is a white sun. And before I came into this place, I was told, that the problem the human race is involved with right now is being worked on. And what I mean by that is this system where 6% of the world's population control 90% of the land and money, and that's exactly where we are right now. So the other 90% of the world's population has to fight, okay, over 10% of the resources. If you were a living biological system, and let's say your hand was taking 90% of all your oxygen, your energy, your growth, how long would you live? So we cannot allow the 6% at the top of the pyramid to keep controlling 90% of our resources. If we do that, we will be exterminated. Okay, thank you. <laughs>